Hi and welcome to Surplus Only. In this series we look at kit that a British infantry soldier would carry either in the Bergen or on the person. In this case it's on the person. It is a webbing order. This webbing order is DPM. It has been fully tailored by Dixie's Corner. So what is a webbing, how to use it and what could you use it for in a recreational environment? In a recreational environment, you can use your imagination. It is a collection of pouches, which we're going to have a look at, on a belt. That belt is then suspended on the yoke over your shoulders, and you can put whatever the hell you want in. But let's have a closer look at this one, set up for a wild camp under a bivy, some rations, and the ability to heat them rations. Let's have a look. On these smaller ammo pouches, there's no way I'm going to carry ammo, of course. So instead, I put a hot flask of coffee in one on the first aid kit in the other. On the two very outer, I always carry water. This will be in the form of one of these here, which is the one litre Crusader. And another litre there. Also, in the bottom... I have the 58 pack stainless steel cooking cup so that will fit in there like that with the butterfly handles so i am trying to keep this in era of uh, the pattern date and the black beaker for drinks can be optional this but i will show you all parts in here i'm going to put some kind of rain canopy this can be your basher that is actually my dutch army poncho which can be used like a basher and also rain protection over myself in this one here i have the ability to actually cook the food in the shape of a hexamine stove you can obviously adapt any of this to your own requirements for a day out fishing or at the beach, beach fishing, whatever your hobby is really, a windscreen and I do have this lid that has been made just for this pot. This one here will also be my food and drink rations and on the side of my webbing I also have a little saw which is from a harbour area. From the rear of the platform belt you can see each pouch has been stitched on so it's not put on with a molly and pals ladder system and it's very similar to the actual infantry webbing with these clips but it is all made by dixie's corner so let's spin it over in between each of the pouches are these bands of webbing here which I've run a 4mm bungee through which keeps everything in place stops it rattling about it's all held in place around the hips with one of these systems here which is a roll pin but it comes standard with this Dixie's the actual yoke itself looks very similar to the British Army yoke and I'm pretty sure that Dixie's make this as well. It has their tag in and it does seem to be a little more robust. So this is the shoulder yoke here. Now remember, this has always been designed to be used in conjunction with the CS95 Bergen. The Bergen actually rests on the bottom of those webbing pouches and supports a lot of the weight of the Bergen. It's only a YouTube thing that people do Bergen videos and then don't use the webbing. So when I use a webbing, it looks strange on YouTube and on my other channel, I always get, why are you using a webbing? Well, surely the question is, why aren't you considering this has been designed to be used in conjunction with a webbing? And to remove the roll pin, a little tab, I just pull and that is off there remove 
this. With all the components out of this, it is coming in at 1.3 kilos empty. And of course you can put in whatever stove system you want, whatever rations you want. So lots of options to use this however you want for recreational purposes. So this is not a CFO, okay? CFO complete equipment fighting order where you'd have your mags in the ammo here and then rifle cleaning kit and um, speed loaders and things like that. There's none of that here. And remember, the first aid, I'm going to keep in one of those ammo pouches. So I am adapting this for my own purpose. You could choose to go down the road of just getting an empty platform belt with a Molly and Pals ladder system. And you thread and weave each pouch on. So if you want more pouches, you can add a pouch on. If you want less pouches, maybe you only want two. For water bottles you can just have two on but for me i have used this on a wild camp i do enjoy using webbing now i'm not saying you can't use your bergen without the webbing because i know a lot of people do it's just a youtube thing and on my other channel i get it all the time why are you using webbing why do you like it so much i can see the benefits why don't you just shove everything in your pack and they talk to me as if it's me that's doing something wrong by using one of these. In fact, it's designed to be used in conjunction with the Bergen. A tailored webbing can stand you anything up to £230. You may want to go down the road, like I said before, of just having a platform belt, molly and ladder and then just collect your pouches one at a time and put them on like that and buy the yoke separately but this is dixie's corner webbing fantastic this is going to outlast me easily with that thousand kajura it's a simple case put it on make sure it doesn't ride too high over your hip bone but you can get these cheap if you're lucky get on ebay get on auction sites. I've always hated using the Bergen without webbing and I really don't understand why people would want to pile all that weight into something that has only been designed to put your sleeping bag in really. So until next time take good care of yourself and I'll see you out there.